Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I'm reminded of something I was asked to say by one of my constituents. She used to be the Federal Minister of Energy, the Honorable Pat Carney. And she said, please mention that there is no Oceans Protection Plan. There seems to be an Oceans Protection wish list. She would like to see a plan. And I also I hope my honorable colleague for Thompson Caribou won't mind if I correct something that came up in an earlier part of the debate, which is the idea that bitumen moving in a train represents a threat. Solid bitumen moving by rail can neither spill nor catch fire. It doesn't represent a threat. But what I wanted to put on the record as well, and I do respect the work of my friend from Kamloops, Thompson Caribou, but I, uh, there was, there's a very strongly worded letter that was sent to the Prime Minister and to Premier Horgan from Sartlip First Nation. It's, part, it's within the boundaries of my riding. I respect Sartlip First Nation enormously on a nation-to-nation -nation basis. They have a specific set of treaties you may have heard of from Southern Vancouver Island called the Douglas Treaties. They have not been consulted at all. And the shipping lanes for the tankers loaded with Dilbit go right through their treaty protected territory. I wonder if my honorable colleague has any comments. Well, member for Kamloops, Thompson Caribou. Um, uh, thank you, and Madam, Mr. Speaker, I would like to note that as you transport on train, if they're concerned about bitumen in the ocean, they need to be also concerned about bitumen in the rivers, uh, which is much more likely when you have a transport by train than you have transport by pipeline. We know we actually want to prevent these, but I still have to go back. Here we are, we're fighting the NDP, the Green, both in the province of British Columbia and throughout Canada, they, they fight against the pipeline when it's going to go to refineries, but they don't worry about all those tankers going down the St. Lawrence. Haven't heard a peep about those. Yeah. And then, but now it's not a peep about the pipeline, it's all about the ocean. So I don't think it really matters what it is. They are going to simply argue against it because they don't want oil extracted from the oil sands for the benefit of all Canadians. Yeah.